Hey guys, thank you for tuning into this latest Empower video. My name is Daniel and today we're going to take a look at the Uni MP100 from Empower. So the Uni MP100 offers a simple portable solution for a wide array of toxic gas and oxygen measurement applications. In addition to the most common sensors out there such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen dioxide, ammonia, and sulfur dioxide, Empower also offers less common sensors including chlorine, chlorine dioxide, hydrogen fluoride, phosphine, ozone, methyl mercaptan, and ethylene oxide. The monitors have a large LCD providing maximum readability in the field and are made with six bright red LEDs allowing for quick alarm notifications. Constructed of strong and durable material, the Uni is designed to be comfortable yet drop resistant. The Uni series can easily be bump tested and calibrated with the new Empower Cali Case system. So let's go over some of the features, the functions, and the benefits of the MP100. So to start, it has a 50% larger single cell battery, the widest choice of sensors on the market, a large display, it data logs up to 50 events, it maintains a very low cost of ownership, and the MP100 utilizes smart sensors built into the unit. The belt clip on the back is made of solid stainless steel. It has a very durable housing as we mentioned. It has a very fast and accurate calibration and download using the docking station. The MP100 also has UL classification class 1, 2, 3, groups A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, let's talk about some of the specifications of the MP100. Now, to start with, holding it in my hand, it only weighs approximately 4.4 ounces and is about 3.46 inches by 2.4 by 1.3 inches. The temperature rating on this thing is negative four, negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The alarm type it has is high, low, stale TWA alarms that are adjustable. It also has an overrange alarm and a low battery alarm. The alarm signal is 90 decibels at 30 centimeters. Bright red LEDs and a built-in vibrator are with this unit. The MP100 has a two-point calibration zero and span and power on zero. The unit's response time varies depending on the sensor you have in the unit. Those response times are available on each individual spec sheet, which is also available on the website. The unit is IP67 rated and compliant with EMC 2004-108EC. The safety certifications of the MP100 are ULCUL, Class 1 Div 1, Group A, B, C, and D, Class 2 Div 1, Group E, F, G, and Class 3 Div 1. The unit has a replaceable AA lithium battery with typically three years of operation with it. Carbon monoxide and H2S expected operating life is five years or longer. Others are two years or longer, such as the exotic sensors that we mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and crack this unit open, take a look at the internal. Now there's not much to it. As I said, this unit is very small. It fits in the palm of your hand. It's very lightweight. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take out the four star screws on the back of this unit so you can see exactly what's inside. So before we get started with taking apart this case, we want to go ahead and go over uh, the back sticker that's on every unit from Empower. As you can see here, the unit does display what type of unit it is. This is the Uni MP100. It also gives you all of the certifications. Uh, it also displays the serial number right here below this barcode. It displays the gas type and the measuring range and the battery part number. So this is very good so you don't have to go around searching or calling the factory for it. The screws that they used are this hex star type screw, as you can see here by the screwdriver. Um, this is kind of good because you don't want anybody just taking this apart, um, especially when they're out in the field. As you know, 
Uh, many hole watches and fire watches get very bored 12 hours of watching a hole all day long. Um, you don't want them picking up a screwdriver and taking this thing apart at any time. So these screws are pretty link lengthy for it being a small case. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to quickly remove these so that we could take a look at the inside of this unit. While we're doing this, I wanna point out that the alligator clip on the back of this unit, like we mentioned, is all stainless steel. It is very durable. Um, just to give you an example, my thumb only I'm using right here and I'm putting a lot of force on this thing. It does not um, seem very cheap. It is a very good alligator clip. And with the good thing that Empower did is they made it to where you can replace this clip if it, if it loosens or if it happens to break off or whatnot, they do have a screw in the back of this. Some manufacturers do not give you that option. They mold the, the alligator clip into the back case, which is kind of a bummer because then you have to replace the whole case. If that does happen, it will have to go back to the factory because of the sticker with the UL certifications on it. So now that we've got all the screws out, we wanna go ahead and pop this unit open. Be careful when you're opening this unit, it is held together with uh, the horn attached to the main board. So here is that AA lithium battery we spoke about. Here is the built-in vibrator onto the unit. And here is the sensor itself. As we mentioned, this particular sensor is H2S. Now, most sensors are color-coded. As you can see here on the front of the case, blue matches with blue. Typically on every unit, on every gas detector out there, H2S is indicated by blue. However, oxygen itself can be indicated by blue or gray. So just be sure that you're checking the label on it. As you can see here, it does say H2S right here. And also on the sensor, you will also see it says H2S. Here's that large display and all the red alarm LEDs that we spoke about. Uh, the push buttons here, there's not much to this unit. It's very simple in design, which um, brings in that low cost of ownership for you. So when you're putting it back together, it's just as simple as snapping the front case back on here. And then of course, putting all four screws back into this unit. So being that it is a low cost of ownership, there's not much to this unit as we said. However, we don't want to confuse you with, there's not much technology into this unit. So this unit can actually be purchased in a wide array of sensors as we mentioned. Now we won't go over all of the sensors in this video. You can download the spec sheet from Empower's website. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together real quick for you. You don't wanna tighten them too tight. You don't want a chance crack in the case, but that is back together. So this is what the unit looks like in the palm of your hand. As you can see, it's very small in size. Um, like I mentioned before, all the UL certifications, the serial number, the battery part number, and the model number are all on the back. Now this D-ring on the back of this belt clip is pretty much standard on every gas detector. That is so you can attach a tool lanyard to it for extra security to tighten it to your clothing. Um, large display. And we're gonna go ahead and fire this unit up. Hold it down for about three to four seconds. It comes on, tells you it's on, the version of software that it's running on. Um, the high and low alarms will be displayed on the display itself. The STEL, the TWA will be displayed as well. It only takes about 30 seconds or so to come up. Here is your battery indicator on the front screen showing you how much battery you have left. They also give you on the screen, as we mentioned, this is a smart sensor. So when you plug this into the unit, it's going to know what sensor is in this unit indicated in the top left by H2S. PPM is your um, degree of measurement and your reading here. So this is what it looks like when it's in regular um, running mode, so to speak.
I'm gonna hold this down just so you can see the alarm lights. They are very bright. Just did a, we just did a quick alarm test on the unit. Now it is very loud. I know that we mentioned the decibels on this, um, but in person it is even much louder. So take a look at the ergonomic design. Very sleek. And these indentions on the side right here allow for a great, it just fits right in the palm of your hand. It's for easy grip if you happen to have to hold this for any amount of time. So that's basically a, a, a look at the, uh, the Uni MP100, the inside and the outside. As you can tell, it is a very rugged design. It feels like it's made out of, honestly, like a tire to be exact. Um, it's a really rugged um, rubber material on the outside. So guys, once again, that was a look at the Uni MP100 from Empower Electronics. Empower Electronics. So just to give you a recap, small in size, light in weight, very portable, and very rugged. So to find out more information, you can visit the website at www.empowerinc.com. That's the letter M, Power Inc. Dot com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.